live from Nationals Park in Washington, D.C., Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Texas Rangers and the Washington Nationals. John Shabby and Chris Singleton on the call. And today is draft day, Singy. An exciting day in terms of the future of the sport and the future of these teams. Boog, what's changed in baseball is that draft picks are going to get to the big leagues a lot sooner. They're going to be tracked every step of the way, and they're going to be expected to have an impact. So for teams, they have to get it right because there's nowhere to hide in terms of what did you do with the information, who did you select, and how have you brought them through your system. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So just about set. And today's starting pitcher, Cade Cavalli. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch-to-contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They can move through a ball game, and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. And today is draft day, singing an exciting day in terms of the future of the sport and the future of these teams. It's also changed a lot in terms of the immediacy of finding out. I mean, what was it? Carrier pigeon was how you found out <laughs> about being drafted back when you were selected, right? Well, fans today may not realize because we have, you know, such exposure on the Internet and, and network sports and everything else. You find out right away. But when I was oh. drafted back in 1993, I, I maybe found out you know, later in the day, I was drafted in the morning that I was drafted by the San Francisco Giants. So regardless, I think the feeling is the same. No matter whether you find out right away or you find out a day later, you're just so excited to have been drafted by a professional baseball team and have the opportunity to pursue your dream. Corey Seager, the next to hit, takes outside. That's in there. And the count one and one. And a curve is down and in. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. That one is gone. His 18th home run of the season, and they grab the lead. It's 1-0. playing with that high fastball and look how his bat stays in the zone for a long time absolutely crushed that pitch so two down here's a big power threat Adolis Garcia first pitch and that's in for a strike Wings through that. He normally Come does on. damage on that pitch in that location. Just a swing and a miss there. I don't think you want to throw it again, though. And down on strikes. And that'll do it. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. It's now 1-0. Here's the second baseman, Luis Garcia. The why to kick the pitch. In the air, left side. Smith pulls it in, and there's one away. Here's Richie Martin. In there for strike one. Ivaldi, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a curb, a slider, a splitter, and occasionally uses a cutter. And that's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate lately. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. 
Next one misses, and that's ball one. Chris won dubious note on Evaldi. May 18, 2022, he matched a big league record, gave up five homers in an inning against the Astros. Alvarez, Tucker, Pena, Brantley, and Gurriel all took a beat. Runner on the goal. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Martin, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. And down on strikes he goes. That's out number two. Here's Lane Thomas. That one's in there 0 and 1. And a foul ball. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. And now up for Washington, number five. That's hard hit on the line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And, and welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. And now the catcher comes up to him. Jonah Heim. Pitch misses inside, and it's one to know. That clips the inside corner for a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. Swing and a bouncer. Chavis fires over to first. One up, one down. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Now one out to right. Manessis going back. Tries to make the play, but it's foul. The old one. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Look, it looked like that curveball backed up on him, and although it's a mistake, it works out really good for the pitcher. The hitters timed it up, expects it to be to a certain spot, and it just doesn't get there. Here's Josh Young. Three for eight in the series coming in. Ball that's one, ball. no strikes. And he grounds one to the right side. Tosses to first. That's the third out. Bottom half of inning number two. Now the third baseman, number 27. Sneaks through, base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. There was nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Ball outside. Throw to second. Tag. Out at second. Usually when you see a team try to steal a base in the early innings, it tells you they want to be aggressive on offense. Try to force the defense to make plays and slow them down. That's exactly what they did right there. So we'll see if that caught stealing changes the offensive approach moving forward. Michael Chavis stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, one strike. Two down, nobody on. Comes up empty, that's strike two. And he hits a ground ball right side to first. Third out. Back in Washington, D.C. And here's the rookie center fielder, Evan Carter. Swing and a miss. 0-1. Oh, Carter, in his rookie season, only 20 years old. And he was a second-round pick in 2020. This one lifted in the air, left field. And there's one down. Josh Smith stepping in for the Rangers. And takes low for ball one. That one to first. And he picks it up and he'll put it in his pocket. The wind of the pitch. And strike two. One ball. Two strikes. Popped up. Foul territory behind the plate. 
Pineda makes the grab and there's two gone. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Simeon batting for the second time, and that's strike one. The 0 2. And one, now two. one and two. Swing and a ball lifted in the air left field pretty well struck to the warning track makes the catch back here in Nationals Park and here's the catcher Israel Pineda that's in there and it's 0 and 1 Pineda getting the starting catcher hitting ninth in today's lineup and he was born in Venezuela foul ball 0 and 2 now Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Chris, you know, you look at Nathan Evaldi's resume. He won the World Series with the Red Sox in 2018, but he was actually originally drafted by the dot. Oh, diving stop. Throw to first, and it's in time. Wow, what a play on both ends for the out. Now it's Luis Garcia. And first offering is fouled off. Always known for that power fastball, but interesting, he didn't get a whole lot of swing and miss with it early on. He got better with oh. that stuff as his career progressed. And you talk about that World Series in 2018, he was absolutely fantastic out of the bullpen. The next no. pitch misses, and yeah, that's ball two. On the ground to short. Zips it to first, and two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Martin in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. Next offering is downstairs. Right hander kicks deals. And now the count one and two after the swing and the miss. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Back here at the ballpark, here's Nathaniel Lowe. The wind of the pitch. Ball one there. What a no. That one pushed foul. The one one. Swing and a ball popped up. Pulls it in for the out. Well, that's what he's looking for with the fastball above the zone. A swing and miss or weak contact. Seeger takes ball. a ball as he stands in for the second time. On the ground. And that's just foul. One down, base is empty. And a swing and a miss. And a ball evens the count. Fights it off, you'll see another. And that one in the air center field. Call. Settles underneath it. Hauls it in for the out. So next to hit for Texas, Adolis Garcia. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Swing and a base hit.
Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. And now it's going to be Jonah Heim. Two outs. Swings through that one for strike one. Kelly just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Right back to him on the mound. Over to first, and that is that. Evaldi back to work. And that's in for a strike. There's the swing and a miss. So important for him to control the heart rate right now. He's got to go through the heart of this lineup. On the ground, the first. Into the outfield, base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff now. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. That was maybe even a little off the plate, but no problem getting the barrel to it. Man, he does such a nice job, and that's what you're supposed to do with the pitch in that location. That one's in there. That is strike two. Got him! One out in the bottom of the fourth. Well, that curveball had some pretty good break to it. As you can see, the hitter just locked up a little bit. Thought it was a great pitch to hit, but sometimes you're looking for something else, and you can't pull the trigger. Squeezes it, and there's two down. Got the pitch that he wanted. Just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open. Backside collapsed a little bit, and the launch angle not where he needed it to be. That's a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Waste no time there. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And now Alex Call and fouled off. Two outs, couple of base runners at first and second. Bouncer to Young. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. So the Nat. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now it's the DH, Ezekiel Duran. On the ground to third. The throw to first, one up, one down. Here's the third baseman, Josh Young. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. And there's a ball. So two balls and no strikes. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up. And that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. And that one is lifted in the air. He makes the grab. Two up, two down. Evan Carter stepping in for the Rangers. 0 for 1 so far. In there, and it's 0-1. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He swung over top of the curve. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Up now for Washington, Michael Chavis. There's a strike. And he'll two. That's the third. Over to low. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. To third. Fair ball. Well, he's been working out of the stretch just about the entire game. A lot of base runners on against him, and he's just done a really nice job of scattering the hits, not giving up any runs. But at some point, your luck usually runs out. So the lineup flips over. Next to hit, Luis Garcia. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. That's a little bit low. Way to lay off that pitch down. That misses the zone, and a count two and one. Swung on, belted. 
back there. And caught on the warning track. So digging in, Richie Martin. That one down the line. Whips it across. And that is the inning. Welcome back. Now the left fielder, Josh Smith. And the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. Next offering is fouled back. Fly ball down the line, and he can't quite get there. It's a foul ball. And a pitch. That one to first, Chavis. Tosses to the pitcher, covering the bag. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Simeon, a member of the 1,000 hit club, and he's won a silver slugger in the American League. Simeon at the plate for the third time as he comes up empty there. 0-2 oh as he waves at that one. And the pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Next offering is outside. Good job to fight that one off. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. And a 1-2. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's back. That one hops against the fence. And that's a double. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap, and when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Low in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Swing and a miss. And it's one and one. Activity in the bullpen. Patrick Corbin, the veteran southpaw, is getting ready to come on if needed. Thompson, the right-hander, also getting loose. Steps on first for the out. Seeger stands in now. He's already homered in this game. That one fouled off. Now wanted one. Well, it's been a very impressive outing so far. His command has been a big part of it. Even when he misses, he misses outside the strike zone, which is exactly what a pitcher wants. The one-one is fouled off. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Simeon on third with two out. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. So no. Bottom of the sixth inning. Now it's the right fielder, Joey Meneses. Laser base hit. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Lane Thomas. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Runner at first with no outs here. And it's one and one. And it's just foul. That was close. Kicks and deals. And now it's even up. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. The next offering misses, and it's a full count. That to right. Snags it on the run. 
And there's one away. Next to hit for the Nats, number five. Strike of the outside corner, 0-1. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Swings and misses, struck him out. Well, it can be so tough as a hitter to pull yourself out of an extended slump, one that lasts for several games, even a week or more. No, right now, he's really in one, so I'm sure his mind is all over the place, racing, okay. having a hard time sleeping, trying to figure out what can get him back on track, back to feeling more comfortable and settled in in the box. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Carter settles under it and makes the catch. Patrick Corbin gets handed the rock out of the pen. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Base hit, center field. Jonah Heim will hit next. Heim having a lot more success on the road this season. Corbin, multi-time All-Star, he features a sinker, a slider, a four-seamer, a change-up, and he occasionally uses a curve. Strike two. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move to the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. Line drive, base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already is bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. The pitch. And he gets that fastball okay. by him upstairs. Definitely not a pitch location you're expecting up there as a hitter when you know the guy's got a good sinker ball. If you can get in that location, boy, you've got to look top to bottom, and that's going to make it very difficult to hit. The one-two. In the dirt. And an excellent job keeping it right there. And now the lefty. Fouled off the plate. They'll do it again. Garcia on second. Heim on at first with nobody out. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Well, he used the slow curve very effectively right there. He just spun it up to the plate and had his guy way out front. Not only a good pitch, but a really good job of setting it up. Young up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. Two balls, no strikes to count. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Fouled off. He was late. The 2-1. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Rip to right. Should be extra bases. Headed for the plate. One runs in. Hein, headed for the plate. Relay throw. Safe. 
and they're up by three. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of this struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. So out of the pen comes the right-hander, Carl Edwards Jr. He last pitched two days ago. Next up for Texas, Evan Carter. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Man at second. There's a strike. Still only one out here in the inning. On the ground, right side. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Gets it there in time, though, and they get it out of the play. <laughs> Up next for the Rangers. Jack, now a move being Ladies made for a pinch hitter. A Travis Jankowski looking for a two-out hit to bring home the runner from third. Travis Jankowski. And that one wrapped foul. On the ground, right side, base hit, and a run in to score. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Didn't make quality contact on the ground ball to the pull side, but sometimes it's just a matter of finding the hole in the defense. Now it's Marcus Simeon. Now move to first. Jankowski dives back in safely. Back over to first, and they're keeping him close. Let's go, Nats. He's going. Buddy. And there he goes. That's in for a strike. Safe at second, and that was not close. Well, you can't fault the defense for not paying enough attention. They threw over a few times, but he just waited it out, kept his timing. He was able to swipe the bag. Nice job of base running right there. Now a bullet to second base, but he's got it to end the inning. So remaining in the game defensively, Travis Jankowski. He'll be the new left fielder after entering the game as a pinch hitter. Call in the box again. Takes a strike. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. And here it comes. Stays alive. Next offering is down low. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Carter makes the grab one away. And now it's Michael Chavis. Swing and a miss. Go Strike ball. one. And a base hit into right center field. Man at first. And it's the catcher for the Nationals, Israel Pineda. Foul ball there. Swing and a miss. And it's nothing in two. And a pitch. Double play ball to second. Simeon gathers and throws to first. And now two gone. And now up for Washington, Luis Garcia. Ground ball to the right side. And it goes just foul. These fans, they are... Ready to cheer about something. Next offering is in for a strike. Sit down on strikes. Called strike three and a fastball. A new pitcher in the game, Andres Machado. He's pitching on two days rest. 
Number 57. Low, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. In for a strike, and it's one and one. Swings through that one. They can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Pitch misses. Two balls, two strikes. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. And here's Corey Seager to hit. He's already homered here in this one. Good eye right there. The Nationals have some action going in the pen. Matt Cronin getting loose out there. Next offering way off the plate. Two count, great hitter at the dish. If you're going to miss, you've got to miss outside the zone. You miss inside the strike zone, you'll be asking the umpire for a new baseball. Two and one. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. Adolis Garcia stepping in for the Rangers. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And a big swing and a miss. Righty delivers. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Good pitch right there. I mean, he's attacking a location that this guy at the plate tends to have trouble with. And there's just so much information in this day and age, sometimes too much information, but the guys that can take that information, process it, and then go out there, Boog, and execute the pitch, go right after that hitter, and get the result that they were anticipating, that's really good pitching right there. And it's a good job of the pitcher and the catcher working together. At the belt and fires. Now one, one missed. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't hit the fat. And welcome back. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Now the number two hitter, Richie Martin. Now a screamer into the outfield. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle to base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. First pitch swing in, went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every oh, hitting coach in the three. league. Just a nice line drive into center field. And that is in for a strike. Oh, and it's 0-2. Manessis over at first with one away. Can't connect on the curveball, struck him out. And here is number five. In there for strike one. Gets a piece and stays alive. And the righty deals. Pitch misses. One and two to count. On the ground, right side. And foul ball. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Lifted in the air, right center field. Garcia heads after it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. So one left. Pitching change here, Kyle Finnegan. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. And he deals. Duran, the leadoff batter as he swings through it for strike one. That was straight queso right there. Popped in the air, left field. Call, pulls that one down, and a quick out number one. So next to hit for Texas, Josh Young. And 
And it's fouled away. Finnegan, a 6-2 righty, 31 years old, and he was a sixth-round draft pick back in 2013. That one, one drifts one inside. Three. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Another multi-hit game for him. He's been really hot lately. Pitch was on the outside. Didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. Carter, the batter now as he swings and misses for strike one. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Left-hand hitter waits. That misses off the outside edge. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Next up for Texas, Travis Jankowski. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Lined, and that's a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Here is Marcus Simeon. And first offering is fouled off. Two on, two outs. Strike two. Way inside, and that hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Well, he's kind of backed himself into a corner, and I'm sure he's starting to feel the pressure right now. We'll see if he can bear down and get out of this one. Low at the plate and takes high there. Next offering is in for a strike. Bounced out to short. Martin. Third out, and that ends the frame. All set for the bottom of the ninth. Now the third baseman, number 27. Bounce to the left side, and that's just foul. Late swing fouled off. Well, just about to hit that century mark. 100 pitches for this game. Next pitch that is downstairs. Ball. Got it by him for the K. Well, that's the effect of the splitter that you're looking for on the mound. Really nice pitch right there and had him out in front over the top. I'm sure the batter was thinking he was getting something else, perhaps a fastball with a little more straight and velo to it. This to third. Slings it across. Now only one out remaining. So it's their last chance in this one. Up now for Washington, Michael Chavis. And that's in there for strike one. Pulls that one foul. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game, and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. A 4 nothing shutout in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long.